Hello everyone and welcome back to Mobile 2 Banderlord and our death campaign. And we are now going to continue to collect up all of our noble son as we prepare to become a mercenary. Start getting rid of these troops. It is almost merc time. Well, we should go see what's here. What's that? Nah, we didn't make it to the tournament in time. No, we didn't. Um. Whoa, well, wait a minute. I want to see what here is here. How good is that? That's really good. I think I want to do it. That's that's going to be a really nice upgrade right away for somebody. Yeah, I want to do this. All right, that wasn't too bad. All right, once again, we're going to play it safe. Because I don't want to get defeated and lose this. Goodbye. That's way too good of an upgrade to lose. Almost lost in the first round. I was down to almost nothing. I hate those first rounds. Now, that is a really good upgrade. And I hate to give it to my wife, though. Her dying in childbirth still scares me. Good upgrades for my people. Really good. Keep them alive. That's what they need. I'm going to keep the arm armor. Lose one body and one leg for two arm. Yeah. Same thing. And he, unfortunately, has... That is it. All right, let's go collect up our horses. We still have uh, a laborer's quest we can turn in. Need tools. I do still have some tools on me. No, I want to do it myself. Which will open up more slots. You can see the relation increase is down here. That's what that mod does. I should put it in the description. What I should do. I don't think I have it down there. Relation notification on log something. I had it in my other death campaign. I actually tried loading up my death campaign again, and it's still bugged. I was hoping to bring it back to life, but I tried to load it up again, and it just crashes. So there's nothing, unfortunately, that I can do about it. Five. There's our 150, which we're going to be more than 50% cab, and I want the party size limit. All right, manual laborers. I am going to get rid of only the good ones. And I'm going to keep the low ones for now. So we're going to get rid of all but the... We're going to hold... Uh, I, don't, I can't remember how many he needs. There, that's good. We'll go with that. That's fine. And there's a bandit base.
which there won't be a quest right away. So I might end up waiting for a quest before doing it. I'd like to get paid for it. Do you have one? Sadly, we're not getting ones that already have war horses. All right, those are all peasants. We got enough footmen. Let's start getting rid of our tribesmen. He's going to take troops from there. Which means there probably won't be hardly anything there when we get over there. Don't go in there. Thank you. This is actually what I was going to show on my other channel. But my microphone didn't record. So I did not show this process on how I do this. And how I get them ready to go. We still got 150k. There could be a bandit base right there. Might as well do the bandit base. I'm here. It's 3,000 plus the troops, more roguery, and more money. So, might as well try to be as uh, efficient as possible. Oh, I hope I'm not on the bow, am I? No, good, I'm not. Up to 47, and I got 3k for it. Not as good, nothing's good. Over to that town. Now we'll head back down. She got pregnant. All right. Now I have a choice to make if I want to have a third child or not. I should see if I have sons or do Well, it doesn't really matter. Do I want a third child? Oh, I definitely want to increase him up there. Get him out of there. That's the question. All right, he needs labors.
do I want a third child? Horses. Regular step horses. Don't I still have step horses? I need to get rid of? Yep, there you go. Got rid of them. 150 charm. That's what I'm going after right now. I'm thinking in my head, do I want a, th a third child or not? It could take me a week in town to do. I will need to pick up food. We do, they're 800 each. They're up to now, horses are. I need to get rid of them. I still have too many mules. That's all good. Grapes, olive, dates, and beer. I'll have to pick up. We'll go get rid of the horses. And some mules. Probably bolster them. I got 110, which is practically enough. Which I should be on a step hunter. Because I can use them. I'm only sitting here trying to think. Do I want another child? I would like to keep these bandits on me. It's going to slow me down, point two. But I'm going to continuously gain roguery. So now the question comes in just about the child. All right, so we're done. We have all of our troops. All we need to do is go grab all of our equipment, and we're good to go. We need to grab equipment and food, and then we're good to go. But we want to start training them. Do I want to redo one of my companions with Sagittarius so it helps me? If I wanted to redo one, maybe the Gray Falcon. Let me see how much it would cost to get the Great Falcon done. What's in the tournament? What's that helmet? Ah, it's a weak one. I don't care about it. How much would it cost? Probably going to cost somewhere around like four to six thousand. Four thousand. Yeah, I'll do it just because I want the fifteen percent bonus for myself. I'll make him the captain. All right. So we are gonna take twenty to archery. Ignore five percent armor. Quick adjustments for five percent more accuracy. And then mount 
Oh, you got to be kidding me. I chose the wrong one. Are you kidding me? It was supposed to be endurance. I don't know if the 5% accuracy helped out. Well, I guess my noobish carried over from the last episode. Another 4,000. There's 8,000 burned up. All right. Maneuverability, veterinary, and filled brim, and Sagittarius. So we get now 20% reduced, accu reduced accuracy penalty, which I think that counts. Troops in your formation gain 5% accuracy with bows. I think that's different wording, though. That's 5% more accuracy. This is 15% decreased accuracy penalty. So I'm not sure how it's going to show. All right, so do, do I want to get her pregnant again? Um, daughter. A son and a daughter. I'm happy with it, a son and a daughter. I'm happy with having both. I'm fine with it. How old is she? She's only 20. She's young. Where's the tournament? Let's go to a tournament. That would complete. Uh, we'll wait until daytime. I got to do the tournament. It's an expensive horse. I know that's a fifteen to seventeen thousand horse. Ah, the fish didn't make it. I was hoping the fish would have made it. All right, so once again, gotcha, gotcha, and you are done. Thank you. But how good of a horse is it? Maybe I want to hold on to it. Wow. Yeah, I kind of think I want to hold on to it. 10 more HP. 4 more speed. 5 more... Well, uh, 5 more speed, but 4 more maneuverability. And 15 more charge damage. Even though it's worth 20k. These are what I want to give to my companions. We're going to go pick those up. Uh, I did want a set of arrows for myself, though. I forgot. I want to pick up my stack step arrows. There. I love those. <sighs> 5,000. Five damage, though. You know, I think I'm going to grab one for myself. I'm going to do it. And that, um, I'll get the equipment in a moment. All right, let's go hit, uh, Bolstrom. Saw off these horses. And then we need to just hit Batania and Belandia to pick up equipment. We also 
have to look out for any looters we can catch to train our troops. And I see a tournament. Another horse. Again, like another horse. And unfortunately, the wanderer didn't make it to this one. <laughs> to guarantee. I wonder how powerful it would be to get your guys decent equipment. Leave them as emissaries in towns all over to try to win tournaments. That's what we use little companions. That's six companions. And you take your family member. That's nine people in town. 17,000. All right, we're going to go hit Bolstrom. We're on our way over into Vlandian territory. That's 42, isn't it? Oh my god, that's 42. Oh, I can't let that go. Cannot let that go. This is training. Alright, so all these guys go bye-bye. And then the Great Vulcan. 30 riding. 5% melee damage. And 15% reduced. It doesn't have the 5%. That 5% is counting for bows, for ranged influence, not horse archer influence. Does that mean only formation two? I don't think I've ever gotten a response from Tail World on that. I don't know my people on horses yet. And they don't have bows. Nah, let's let them go. Just let him go. It's just training. When we get to uh, Batania, we'll get them all on their horses. We'll get them their bows, their saddles, and they'll be good to go. But this is such important training, which I tried to explain on my main channel. You want to get them up close to Tier 3. By fighting looters. It's much easier to do. Once they're tier 3. You can use your items. And your steward perks. To donate these items. To go from tier 3. To tier 4 and 5. Which actually I'm saying it wrong. Because it's not really that way. It's not really tier 3. They're a, noble lines are a tier higher. Noble lines are tier 2 through 6. So I'm actually saying it wrong. We have another tournament, but they should be good on horses. And they're not. Although stepper yellows. No, they're 246. They're not good on horses. You have beer, though. We'll be able to get olives and grapes and blandia. There's one spot rated Ortizia to get dates. I should say grapes and olives. Beer we'll be able to pick up. Grain we're going to get a ton of. I'm not worried about that. But we got to get rid of some of these horses. Tools we can get rid of right now. I need a different flag. Costume. One of my favorite horses. One of my guys didn't survive, sadly. I tried to get them moving on, but they didn't.
And I got my horse. Alright, what's the difference between this one and the one that I have? The Royal Despair. This one has a lot more HP. No, it does not. Wow. All it has is six maneuverability. Or six speed. It's faster. 40 less HP. And two less maneuverability. Ooh, that's a toughie. Because lords are very fast. I'm going to hold on to it for now. I am a little bit shocked about the horse prices, though. That's got me a little shocked. Oh, I should increase these guys now. I want to increase these guys now. Get them up to tier 3 as quick as possible. Uh, we're, no, we're, we can get grapes here. There we go. We're up, and then with this one, we'll have enough grapes. All we need is olives and dates. A little bit of dates. There we go. So now we're good on all that. So all we need is olives and just a little bit of dates and beer, which this should have a brewery. Which it does. So we will take all the beer. We are now good on beer. All we need is some olives and some dates. Which we are going to get very quickly. Dang, tournament just finished. And so we are not going to stop here. Go ahead, Ortizia. Where, who are we going to join with? 32 liters sitting there. Whoa, what was that? Did Mu Chung die or did he die in battle? I don't see it. But Masu was chosen as the new ruler. I don't know what happened to him. Okay, um, they have horses here, so I can't take horses. And we want higher tiers. You are going to run a group, but you have no bow. First thing you got to get is bow. So all we need is olives. And the beer. No, um, dates. Dates are right there. All right. Olives are going to be right up in here. We can go either place. I should probably leave them now. So I don't run into any problems. Yeah, I'm going to leave them now. I just don't want to run into any issues. I didn't check for beer. That should be good on beer. All right, there's our olives. Uh, yeah, really, we just need the olives, and we're pr we're pretty much good. We've only got 107 and 107 dates. 
Where's the other olives? Is right there. Look at all those freaking bandits. Uh, why can't I get those bandits in there? Go ahead. Come on. I got them. Get down in there. And I only got 22 of them. It's all about the training. My guys aren't trained, though. I got to get these guys up there as soon as possible. I got to get up to Batani and get everybody on horses. Get them on horses with their bows. And then once we're trained enough, it's going to be a, once again, a slow process of getting them to cons guard. But once we do get them there, then I have to make the decision on how I'm going to work it. I really just wanted to do that to get more roguery. That's all that was there. I wanted to trap a bunch of them, though. That is such a great trap. All right, that's enough there. Let's go head on. Uh, well, we'll go grab the ones from here as well. Let's go grab their horses. Wow, 100 of them. Nice. All right, let's go grab. We'll go ahead and knock. I don't know if I can afford my pole arm right now. I do want to get it. But let's get every. I don't think we'll have horses here. They do not have horses here. We need these. But we can get them bows. Hunting bows. A large bag of arrows. I need to save that. Gray Falcon, you're going to get the balanced and the large bag. Good. Everything about 150. We'll grab the cheese to go 150. Oh, I think we're short on his dates. All right, we're good. Do they have it? But I don't have the I don't have the weapon for a prison break. I'd love to do a prison break. We'll take that for now. I don't know if there would. I can't get in there, though. I'm not clan tier three. I can't get in. I'll have it set up. Oh, what do you have for the tournament? Another horse. Oh, it's getting ridiculous. The horses, they got to patch this. Well, they don't have to. Well, I automatically get it because... All my people made it to the final two rounds. So I was guaranteed to get it. I, I said that wrong. I, I shouldn't have said that it doesn't need to be patched. It needs to be changed. So that the high-end stuff is when there's like six lords there. Medium when four lords. Low-end with two lords. It's not that every town you walk into, you're getting 16000 every prize. And um, it's just, it's not realistic at all. 
It's not even close to being realistic. And look at the horses. And I even got that one. Right now, I'd, I'd have close to a quarter million on me. All right, so we are going to go to... We should probably go to Saiyan on next. They normally have the horses. And then that way, I also need to go to Omar and grab the next step bows. Which from... I, I use the Nordic short bows for the accuracy. And we have another tournament. So let us grab, hopefully we have horses, and we do have nine of them. Good. So let us, you're going to take, because, um, yeah, we're going to give you a hunter. And you unfortunately have to take a Sumter, but we are going to grab one horse for you. Sumter and a horse for you. And I'm having the horses ready to go. Because they're going to be able to use them really quickly. They only need 20 skill. And then you're going to get a hunter. And now we'll go ahead and we'll throw all the bardings on. And all we need to do is go grab our bows. And we're pretty much set. Our upgraded bows. That's it. Oh no, what's the prize? It's that decent armor again. All right, I'm going to take a risk. Damn. I was hoping one of my guys would have got it. But. We're just going to go run to Omar real quick and grab the bows. The Nordic short bows. And then we're all set. We sh we could do so we could do some more training though. That's the one thing we definitely do need. Master of planning that reduces food consumption while in a siege camp. So we're going to use once we have price of loyalty, we use no food. We are done with doing that however i can't get into the castle i cannot get into the castle that sucks all right so let us grab our bows our nordic short see these have 93 accuracy 95 that's why i prefer them so we're going to grab five, six, seven, eight. We'll grab eight of them. And that should be for everybody. And then we're done. That's it. We're going to get grain. We have everything else we need. A little low on dates. That'll be fine. And all we have to do now is have these guys up to tier four at least. I need to make sure he survives. Another one of them. No, Lord, another Lord got it. They're going back there possibly with the with the troops. But if I come over here, I could potentially get the good armor. They abandon it. All right, let me grab the good armor. There's the thick brigandine and the helm. Where's my helm? Thank you. There. 
I've got everything I need. I mean, you don't really, I don't think you really need boots, but nobody in the dungeon. Yeah, they ran out. Can we get a prison break? I don't think we can. I don't think they're going to have anybody there. I think we're done. No. And I'm not sure about that. So that is where we sit at right now. These guys are weak. And I mean super, super weak. Once they hit here, then they become stronger. The cash egg, powerful, and cons guard unstoppable. So it's just getting them up into this tier right here, which is technically tier four, is what it is. So you got to decide if you want to do a little bit more training with them on looters, or you could join a kingdom and just look for smaller parties to try to go after. I'm not sure what we're going to do just yet. All right, so we got 120,000. We're bleeding 700 a day. Everything else is going to be used to upgrade the troops. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is just upgrade the troops. And then we're going to join as a vassal. And we're going to pick our battles very carefully. But I want to find out who we're going to join. I'm still waiting to find out what determines that. And I know, I believe that kingdom strength is a huge factor. But we'll figure that out in the next episode. I will see you then. As always, my friends, take care. And thanks for watching.